I want to show you how you can use reality capture to align your images and then train a Gaussian splat in PostShot using that alignment data. This is a really good workflow because not only is reality capture's alignment really quick, but it also has a ton of features like control points, setting scale, being able to align multiple cameras together, like multiple lenses, focal lengths, etc. Um, and just overall, you have a lot more tools and, and functionality at your fingertips that you might not have that with Colmap. So how do we do this? I actually have everything listed out in a blog post in case you just want to follow the instructions there, but I'll show you in real time how it all works. The two things you need to do are to export the registration of a scene. You need to export the registration into the folder where you have your images, the source images. Doesn't matter what you call it. You got to change the type to internal external camera parameters. Say save, expand this out. It's default setting. So whatever comes there, do it. The second thing you need to do is export the point cloud change the type to sparse point cloud as polygonal file format. So the PLY format, click save. And in the export settings, the main thing you need to change is export ASCII. So that needs to be set to false. So click OK. And there you go. If you did things correctly, you should have your um, point cloud and registration files in here. So I have two of them because this is my previous ones. I'm just going to delete those to not confuse you guys. So yeah, see a CSV file and a PLY file in your images data set. Then what, that's basically it. After that, you just uh, run PostShot. You just launch PostShot and, and import in the folder that has your images and everything that you just exported. And if you did things correctly, whenever you drag and drop the folder in here, you'll know because it says camera poses actually now has a new setting that call, that called import rather than compute from images. That means it's going to be using the registration from reality capture. So boom, you just click import and you should be able to see in the log that it's already training. See, it's not even, it's not, it went straight into the training steps. Now I want to show you a few more things to automate this whole process and, and make it a lot easier on yourself. Number one is you can actually use command line tools in reality capture. Uh, which you can even bundle together into something called an RCCMD file. So here, I just drag and drop this set of commands, and it exports both the registration and the um, and the point cloud into a folder. I grab that, I come to my folder, and I throw it in here, and boom, you have everything you need, and then you train. So that's a really good method for pre-existing projects. If you have stuff aligned and you just want to open it up, just export stuff out. I love using these RCCMD files. And, uh, the, and this RCCMD file is in the GitHub repo that I have linked in the blog post and in the description. So take a look at that. Now let me show you an even more automated workflow for a totally new project. I have a bat file, a bat script, which will take the images, align in RC, export all the data, and start training in PostShot. So let me show you how that works. So a bat script, um, which you can download from my repo, I copy it into the root of the project that I want to have. And then I make sure my images are set in a folder called images. Then if I run it, it's going to give me a little protection thing. So I run anyway. And uh, it's going to do a couple of commands. So it's importing the images, aligning them. And it should be done pretty quickly. You can tell how fast that is. It exported the data into the images folder, and now it's already training the Gaussian splat, uh, but in a headless mode. So it's doing this quietly in the background. If you do, if you, so this is great if you want to do like multiple scans and you just want to automate things back to back, this is a great way to do it. I, to be honest, my preferred method is actually not doing the training in the background, but I, I want to do the training myself, but I just want to do the alignment and all that, those steps kind of uh, separately. So I'm going to get rid of these things. I'm going to put the RC3DGS batch file without the training uh, uh, step. I'm going to run it going to align the data again, the data was exported. So now everything's ready. And basically, I can just open up a post shot uh, project, throw my images in, click import, and uh, we're off to the races here. 
So that's really, really cool. And notice here actually that I have, um, this is a combination of a DSLR, some DSLR photos as well as uh, drone photos. So I'm not sure if Col how well Colmap will be able to align these this data. And in fact, let's give it a shot, right? Might as well try it. I'm gonna start a new project. I'm gonna throw in the images and I'm gonna turn off the import and I'm gonna do, do compute from images and use all images. Um, do I have a timer? All right, it's 11.12. I'm gonna see how long the, uh, the call map tracking will take. And while this is going on, I wanna just tell you a bit about PostShot and why I've been so excited about it. It's the first time where you actually have like a proper user interface to use for Gaussian splatting. You know, it's not CLI based. You actually can drag and drop things in. You can, um, you just feel like you have much more control over what you wanna do. The, the, I mean, you having a user interface is such a massive productivity boost not when you're automating things, but when you just want to work on things and, and know what you're doing, it's just so much better. Um, you can also set cameras in here and export, you know, camera paths and render those. Um, I use them mostly for training and then I, you know, can export it and locate it in VR. So it's been around five minutes and the alignment steps, the tracking is still kind of going on uh, in post shot. So clearly reality capture, I mean, the fact that it was able to align all the images and export uh, what, in like 20, 30 seconds, under a minute for sure, that already just shows you how much faster it is. Um, I'm hoping that all the Im cameras are also being aligned here, like the ground photos and the drone photos. I don't know. We'll have to see. But the other thing I'm noticing is look at the orientation, right? It's tilted. I know I can adjust it in here using uh, this tool, but the nice thing really about doing it in reality capture is I oftentimes also do photogrammetry scans along with Gaussian splats and the fact that they can be on the same coordinate system aligned together. And if you want to use the mesh from, from photogrammetry, but the visuals of Gaussian splatting, importing them and having them be aligned at the right scale is trivial because they're, you know, ba based on the same alignment data. So that, that to me is a massive benefit on top of all the other features that I mentioned. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was helpful. And let me know if you want me to make more videos about photogrammetry, about post shot or Gaussian splatting. I'm still learning, I'm still exploring. So this is really, really fun. Uh, and I hope you can explore and learn along with me. So take care and see you next time.